Today on Moving Day, we meet Simon and Linda who are buying a house together for the first time. So Simon gets that little bit of the house just yeah, over just there. Yeah, just that little bit there. And the rest of it you're sorting out. Well, hopefully. But will Simon have any say in the new house? My style is Linda's style. She knows what she wants and uh, we'll be told anyone who gets in her way. In the middle. No, in the middle. Behind, go behind me. Go behind me. And hold in the middle. Day. Today we're in Slough in Barter to meet the Bourne family. Now they're on the move in five days' time. And they're moving from a two-bed semi to a three-bed semi just around the corner. And just in time too because they're getting ready for an imminent arrival. Of course, Sal, we're nearly there. You mean us, of course. Hardly. There's a baby on the way. Shall we go and meet the Bourne family? Expectant Linda is 36 and works as an operations manager as well as being a busy mum to fun-loving Hannah, who's two and a half. Linda met her new husband and dad-to-be, Simon, via the internet. Simon's mad on rugby and his love of the game was made official when he became a touchline judge. With a baby on the way, the search for more space means that moving from this two-bedroom house is a must. Hello! Thank you very much indeed. Gavin, is it okay if he goes and has a quick nose around? Yeah, yeah help himself. Right, himself. Yes, help himself. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Can Please. I have a coffee? Thank you. So Linda and Simon, how long have you been in your house for this one here, the present one? Well, I've been here nearly four years. Um, I originally bought it for myself. And then uh, now I've got my daughter, who's two and a half. And then I met Simon. And um, now we're just sort of... Uh, beginning to feel we just need some more space. We have a brother or sister for Hannah on the way in five months' time, so uh, that's why we need the extra bedroom. Right, let's get rid of that hat first of all. Little home office thing going down here. Quite a blokey area, got the rugby yearbook, everything like that. Little rugby plaque. Stuff like this can be packed up at the very last minute, though. One thing I do like to see, though, a tape gun and boxes. Now, these have not only been used, but they're all sealed up, ready to roll. Wow. Often a room that's overlooked is the loft, and this one is pretty jam-packed full of stuff. And uh, I think someone's got a little bit too much time on the hand, or is very efficient, because we've got a full list here of exactly what's in what box. For instance, box six, what's in there? Sitting room items, videos, foot muff, BA presentation. So if we're trying to find something that we've already packed, or when we've moved, we can quickly go on the computer and check which box that item's in. But Linda's efficiency doesn't stop there. She's got plans up her sleeve for the new house. I basically took all the measurements of all the rooms and worked out the sizes of all our furniture, sent Simon around with a tape measure to measure all the furniture and drew it up to scale so I could actually try and work out whether all the furniture would fit and which rooms it should go in, because there's nothing worse than telling a removal man to put something back downstairs when he's carried it upstairs. Lisa, you've been this detailed. It's unbelievable. Look at this. It says where everything's to go, the bed... The Unbelievable, small sofa study. And you went around with the tape measure, that was your contribution? That was my entire contribution. If they don't, things don't fit, then, then we'll... My, that is my fault. Then it's your, yeah, your the fault. The tape measure was wrong. <laughs> Let's hope not, mate, for your sake. Linda's shown me the way to the new house that she's got big plans for. She doesn't miss a trick. She's not only managed to negotiate getting a set of keys, but as the property is vacant, she's also got permission to get on with some pre-move decorating. When you said it was just round the corner, you literally mean just round the corner. It is just round the corner. Um, very similar to the other place, isn't it? All the houses are built roughly around the same time, so they're all kind of the same kind of style. The first job is to check out how Linda's floor plan system and Simon's measurements work out. Well, it looks uh, quite a bit bigger already. That's because it's empty. It's empty, but you know everything's going. Well... We've tried to plan it, but we're actually thinking this room's going to have a bit of a problem with it. We need to fit the same furniture in as our current sitting room, and it's not going to be easy. And the biggest concern of all has been where to put Simon's study. As well as being a referee, he's also a secretary for the Berkshire Rugby Football Union, which means he needs somewhere to work. Is this your little den? This is my little corner. You've got more space in the new house, haven't you? I've got slightly more space. Yes, so does this mean you're going to have a proper office? 
Uh, it would have been, but for the, uh, the second child. So Simon gets that little bit of the house just yeah, over just there. Yeah, just that little bit there. And the rest of it you're sorting out. Well, hopefully. Since moving in, what Simon hasn't had pushed into a corner has been shoved up in the loft. And then you brought all this with you to live here with Linda. And yeah. why have you not opened these boxes till now? Because they've been pushed away up in the loft. There's no space in the house. Who pushed them away? One guess. Linda! <laughs> she's a pusher, a wearer. Yeah. And wouldn't it be nice, though, to have some of your belongings that are really special to you actually out on show? It would be nice, but I doubt it'll happen. Over at the new house, Linda's roped me into sorting out Hannah's bedroom. No prizes for guessing who's chosen the colour scheme. Well, nice what have we got here? Bright. Go. Very girly, I take it. Absolutely. Enchanted Rose. That reminds me of my <laughs> mate Sally. No, she's a thorn in my side. It's slightly different. And what about interior design ideas wise? I mean, it's this, you know, I mean, you've got lovely furniture and things downstairs in the lounge. How would you describe your style? My style is Linda's style. She knows what she wants and uh, we'll be told anyone who gets in her way. <laughs> Should we make a start then? I'll do the roll room. Okay, I'll paint. What about the uh, curtain rail? Should we take that down first? All right, boss, whatever you say. Linda has chosen to deck out the room with two bright colours. She's sensibly gone for paint designed to be used in kids' rooms. They're tougher than normal paints as well as being wipeable and odour-free. Right, Linda, I think that is a fantastic job. And I've got to say, you're very good at this. Had a lot of practice. Now, would you let Simon do any of the painting? He'll do some rollering, I think, but he won't get him doing any cutting in. Don't blame him. It's a job best left to someone that knows what they're doing. Gavin, haven't seen much of you today. Have you been skiving off? No, Linda's having working really hard at the new okay. house. She knows exactly how she wants that interior to look, so I've been giving her a hand. She is my kind of girl. So what do you reckon? Good move or bad move for the Bournes? Definitely a good move. All important, more space. That's all they need, and a blank canvas for her to practice her DIY skills at. Great, and I think that Simon actually is quite happy to take a back seat. And get this, he actually likes her style. Well, that's good news. Well, it certainly doesn't happen very often, does it? It's the evening before Linda, Simon and Hannah's moving day and all the kitchenware has been boxed up. So dinner is courtesy of the local chippy. There you are, look, some sausage and some scampi. There you go, some Trisha. sofa. Trisha. I want some scampi. <laughs> I don't want... You don't want scampi. Despite living here since marrying Linda, Simon's never really felt 100% at home. Linda's obviously lived here for, for four years and it is her house, um... Yes, I've grown attached to the house, but um, it, it's a fresh start. It's a fresh start for both of us, uh, a fresh start for us as a family. So, you know, we need we need the move. I wish we had another week. Um, we haven't managed to paint as much of the new house as we wanted to. Um, the swing's still standing in the garden. The lights are still hanging. The curtain rails are still up. So we've still got quite a bit to do. So we're now hoping that they turn up on time tomorrow and then all steam ahead. Yeah, Are we going to cut that one up as well, are we? Good night, Linda. That's it. Good girl. Coming up, Linda's boxing system should make for a smooth move, but it doesn't all go to plan. We are seriously running out of time here. And Simon's measurements don't quite size up. Let's get in the shed, guys, yeah? We'll have to go over that another time. It's moving day morning here in Slough and Linda and Simon are about to up sticks from this house here to one just around the corner. Yes, they're moving to a house on the same estate but with the all-important extra bedroom. Now, it's only a short move but there's still lots to do. Let's see how they're getting on. Come on then. The removal men are already here. Simon and Linda have planned meticulously for this move so they should be ready to go. Good morning, where are you? I'm here. Hey, he's on his knees, <laughs> packing still. How is it going, Simon? It's going OK, it's going very well. Where is Hannah today? Hannah's off at nursery. Until? Until, oh, probably half past five this evening. And then she's coming. Then I've got to go pick her up and bring her back to oh, the new great. house. Oh, great. Oh, that'll be really nice, actually. We'll make it all nice for her and try yeah. not to scare her too much with all our excitement. Right, where is the lady? Well, look at that. Hannah's room is packed to the brim. Obstacle core is coming through. <laughs> Linda, good morning. Good morning. How are you, good girl? To see you again. You all right? Fine. You're looking good. You're looking quite serene, not too stressed. We'll see you later. For now, I'm fine. Why is it that women always move house when they're pregnant, four and a half months <laughs> pregnant, and there's chaos all around? Why do you do it? Oh, Sally, for the extra space, of course. 
Yeah, stick them down there, sort it out in a minute. How are you getting on so far? Yeah, it's going all right. I must admit the other guy's doing well. Andy, mm. Barry, Alex, who's known as Boy Friday. <laughs> and why is that? Because he only used to work on a Friday. Then what do you think of the system they use in all these boxes? They're all you should see it, they've got a folder. Everything's yeah, I know. numbered. All got the numbers on them. Everything's in it, and it's even got That's like all downstairs and the higher numbers are upstairs. Is that a good system? Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad. It's a military operation. But the first hitch in Linda's master plan soon comes to light. The van is filling up rather quickly, and the removal men will need two trips to move all their stuff. And I'm starting by getting those big kitchen appliances shifted. Now, the thing to do when you are moving fridge freezers, obviously be careful, especially on the floor service, surface. We've got lino here, so we don't want to scratch it. So if you just walk the item out. But the main thing is, is when you get it to the other end and get it in position, don't plug it in and switch it on straight away. Leave it for at least an hour. Because yeah. they've got gas in the back of these. And uh, it all gets chucked about, and you've got to let it settle again. So it can be quite dangerous. Right, how are we doing? Yeah. Now, you see, we like to encourage our movers to leave their homes a spick and span for the incomers, just so that it's nice for them when they arrive. But Linda's actually left this house in really good condition. She's a tidy kind of girl. Mind you, you have to remember, she's just moving around the corner, so if she left her house anything less than in tip-top condition, people would talk. Another little task I've got today is to swap the lights over. Now, they want to take these ones with them, brass effect lights. I mean, you can spend a fortune on lighting these days. And uh, they want them put up in the new house. So it's just a case of whipping them down. Make sure you switch the electricity off, which I've done. But if you're not sure what you're doing, leave it to the professionals. Another thing is we're using a brass fitting here, which has brass screws with it. Now, if you do take loads of lights down, they're a bit of a pest if you lose them, because they tend to be oversized and everything like that, and it's a trip down to the hardware shop. Top tip with this, get a bit of tape, packing tape, tape the screws together, like that, and then put them around one of the arms of your light fitting. That way you won't lose them on the move when you go to the next place. And just one final thought, if you're taking your light fittings with you, do remember to put in replacements for the new owners. It's only polite. Right. Got to get these on this load as well, because I'm going with this one, and we can get them up the other end. But they are very Pat Butcher. Alex! Here we go, mate. Stick those in the box and in the cab. Cheers. The first van load heads off, just as the call comes in telling them they've completed on the new property. But it's all happened a little quicker than expected. The first load has gone off. You are officially on the move, girl. Good, Wait, uh, the to... owners are chasing us to get in, so... Are they? Yeah, we've been on the phone already to the agent saying, we want in, and that was at 10 o'clock. And the van oh, only really? arrived at half nine, so... Well, Classic. So we'd bit... better get a bend on. <gasps> Too right, there's still tons to do, and it's going to be tight as the new owners are set to move in in one hour's time. <gasps> oh, look, little Hannah signed for the door. I think we'll try and take that off. Don't break it, Sal. It's coming. You're a beauty. The boys are back for the second load, and not a moment too soon. The pressure is really on. A whirlwind of activity explodes in the house as everybody works double quick time to get it all done by zero hour. And there's still all the cleaning to do. Listen, we are seriously running out of time here. We've got minus five minutes. I mean, exactly. This is like cleaning frenzy going on here in the kitchen. <laughs> Go for it, girl. Have you done the cupboards? Yes. No, this one here looks like a... Well, Simon thing. said he'd done them. He's so. not done them. <laughs> He's told you a fib. Who's been a naughty boy, then? Got the fridges out, the washing machine is out. Anything else? No. Nope. Tumble dryer? We haven't got a tumble dryer yet. Um... Hope to get one at the new house at some point. Right, you've got a space to put one in, have you? Well, we've got the garage. We're hoping to do something in there, because uh, with Hannah, we find we keep running out of clothes and we just can't... I just can't stand washing hanging around the house. Mmm, that gives me a good idea. With the last things out of the house, there's just a quick chance to say goodbye to the old place. So that's it, it's all clear upstairs. Yeah, everything clear? It's looking fantastic up there, Linda. You've done a wonderful job with your cleaning and everything. It's OK up there, it's a bit kind of... Dirty in the kitchen, but we just we were supposed to be out ten minutes ago, so we. I think we've done quite go a good now. quick job, you and I. I'm sure the new people will appreciate the quick job we did. 
just want out now because they've been harassing us all morning so I just want out um, and um, just let them in really, just get them off our backs. <laughs> Linda and Simon sold their two-bedroom house for £176,000 and paid £227,000 for their modern three-bedroom family home just round the corner. Yay, they're in! You did put the alarm back Disarmed. On. Let's get in there. No, no shoes in the front room, please. Will you right, we're, we're operating a no-shoe policy, everybody. No Do you shoes, get that? I'm afraid. It's been so painted. And new carpets, so no <laughs> shoes. I can Sorry, smell folks. the paint. The shoes are coming off. I can smell your shoes. The paint's coming off. Here we go. Wow. Has this been newly painted in here? Yes, we've um, painted this room and the dining room and new carpets went down yesterday. Look at your smiling <laughs> Simon! <laughs> it's a happy moment! Where I want to kiss you! Okay. Let's look at that part. With all the delays at the old place, the lads are keen to get on with moving in the second van load. Your kitchen's really good, Linda, isn't it? It's much bigger than the last one. Yeah, it's much bigger. It's um, got more cupboards, got a lot more floor space. You can actually... Well, we might be able to eat in here, I'm not sure, but... Certainly a lot more space. Get a wee breakfast bar in over here somewhere, yeah. maybe. That'd be nice with a few stools underneath. Upstairs, Hannah's bedroom has had a second coat of paint and Linda's managed to finish all the cutting in. Oh, I love the colour scheme in here. This is great. She couldn't decide what she wanted, purple or pink. She kept changing her mind. <laughs> she gave her both. Bless her. She's such a cute wee girl. So, so she said she wanted both. She wanted both. The place is looking great. I have got Hannah's little sign. We could put a press it in, press it in. There you go. The room is now officially Anna's. But there's still loads to do before they can call it home. It should all be pretty straightforward with Linda's box numbering system. Room two, that's a dining room. Put the back, wash your shoes. Yeah. It's the moment of truth for Linda's logic. Have all the kitchen items arrived? In the kitchen. Oh, and we're in. OK, before we dip in, let's just check the box. B40, R3. Box 40, room 3, the kitchen. Let's check the Bible, everybody. Here we go. Yep, box 40. Tea slash coffee, cupboard bits and chicken timer. What's that all about? OK, let's find out. We have a tea and coffee bits and a chicken timer. Ah, look who's up on top. It's the chicken timer. Simon's department was to make sure that everything would fit. He measured up and checked out where all the big items were meant to go. Fridge freezer won't go in the gap in the kitchen, so we've now got to put it back into the garage so we can plug it in so it doesn't defrost all their food. Simon's calculations have gone awry. The fridge will stay in the garage until Simon, or perhaps Linda, can create a space in the kitchen. It's also proving to be a tight squeeze with one of the wardrobes. Remember, it's always a good idea to measure the stairs as well as the rooms. Let's get in the shed, guys, yeah? We'll have to worry about that another time. OK. For now, the wardrobe will join the fridge in the garage. It will have to be dismantled later to get indoors. Another job for Linda. Um, can you show me how to put that one up? Most definitely. We'll pop that one down there. If you can hold the other one for a second. Okay. Now, would you tackle something like this yourself normally? I don't touch electrics. OK, let's see if you're any good with curtains. Oh. oh, Gavin, these are too long to go in here. Looks like he didn't measure that either. <laughs> They're going to have to be cut down. Remember, if that's not up, you're for the high jump. But he's given up already and come to help Linda out. She's putting Hannah's room together before she gets back from the nursery. No, in the middle. No, in the middle. Behind, go behind me. Go behind me and hold it in the middle. Completely flummoxed with it all, Simon's off to pick up little Hannah which gives me time to make sure the place is spick and span, ready for her arrival. Hey! You want to go in the house? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Hannah, really so excited with Mummy. Hello, okay. Hannah. Hello, Jenny, okay. yes. Let's... Oh, do you okay. want to go to the house? Should we bring Harvey into the new house? Yeah. Yes, come on, let's go. And Harvey, take Harvey in. Come on, let's get you in there. Bring him through. <laughs> After you, Hannah. Welcome oh. to the new house, Hannah Yay. and Harvey. Yay. By the end of the day, the house is looking in pretty good shape, but there's still a fair amount of unpacking to do. 
Simon's stuff still hasn't made it into the house. It's joined the fridge and the wardrobe in the garage. And Hannah's already feeling right at home. Who's putting my things in here? <laughs> Linda, Simon, Hi. come in. Come in, you two. We've got a bit of a surprise for you oh, to what? say welcome oh, to the new house. <laughs> it is. It's like right. a tumble dryer. Wow. Thank you very, very much. That should help beat the baby blues anyway Absolutely. when it comes to washing. <laughs> well, it was perfect timing for the new arrival, also. It was one of the top things on your wish list it for was. the new house. It was. Oh. Cheers. Cheers. Congratulations, Thank folks. You. Welcome Thank to you. your new yeah, home. Awesome. Thank you very much. Very exciting. And thank you for all your help. Mm. No problem. That's it for moving day here in Slough. If you're having any problems with your move or if you're about to embark on one, why not check out our website? It's itv.com slash moving day. That's where we all say bye. bye. <laughs> See you Goodbye. Now, about those earrings. Since moving day, Linda's finished painting all the rooms, Simon's resumed his rugby commitments and Hannah is very happy with her new room. <laughs>